Hi, my name is Crystal. If this is your first time coming to my channel or one of my videos, typically I post family vlogs. I also will be adding in some mom hacks, I guess you can say, here and there. Today's video is one of them. I also do DIY home renovations with my husband and I will be posting those too. We just need to start filming them. We have done them on our Instagram. So if you like home improvement stuff or more family mom stuff, I would love if you follow me on Instagram. It's at Crystal Ranson. And if you like this video, please comment and like for more of these mom hack sort of things. It's not really a hack but I guess that's what I'll call it. <laughs> So all you need is some distilled white vinegar, obviously some sort of produce. I use a just big stainless steel bowl. You can use your sink if you're comfortable with that. I just feel like sinks are never as clean as I'd like them to be. And then some sort of airtight container to put them in. These are actual like produce keepers. I get these off Amazon. I really like these ones. They have like dividers. This bottom sits a little above the actual bottom of the container. And that way, if there is any fruit, juice, or water that comes off, it goes into the bottom and nothing is like actually sitting in it. It all has like the little air holes. So air is constantly able to move. <laughs> How do I, don't, I don't know how to explain that. Move around the produce. It's not just sitting in its air. I don't know, you guys probably understand what I'm talking about. I can't make words come out of my face well. Normally, I do not measure my water and vinegar solution, but today I'm going to. Um, so it is one part vinegar to three parts of water. So one cup of vinegar, per three cups of water. I'm definitely gonna need more than that. Like I said, I don't ever measure this. I feel like this is about the same ratio I typically do, but for video purposes, I am going to do this right. Okay, now it's the hard part. So you take your grapes, plop them in. You're gonna want to leave them on the stems. If there is any bacteria that is on the grapes that the vinegar is washing off, you wanna make sure that it's not gonna like go back inside of your produce. So keep everything uncut and on the stems for now. So I'll put those in at the bottom because grapes I will keep in for like 10 minutes. Strawberries go in for up to five minutes. I typically do closer to like three minutes. And I can already tell that I need more water. And then you want to make sure that everything is submerged. You're just gonna wanna kinda shake everything up. This also will obviously help loosen up anything that might be stuck on. Especially grapes. Grapes are gonna be your like nastiest guys. Okay, and then porous berries, like raspberries. These guys kind of go in and then come out. Anything raspberry, blackberry, they just get mushy if you leave them in too long. Obviously, they get mushy if you just rinse them. So these guys go in fast and then come out. Blueberries typically can stay in a little longer. I would leave those in the same time I leave my strawberries. While your fruit is soaking, make sure you get something ready that you can dry them on. So I just have two um, like little towels and then just over cutting boards. Make sure that you are using towels that you don't love because they might stain. So now you're just gonna go in and Kind of give everything a little shake as you pull out your raspberries. I am going to pull out my strawberries too. And then you are going to rinse these guys. 
once you rinse them, all you have to do is lay them out on your towels and let them dry. And it's about time to get these grapes out. You wanna definitely give the grapes a really good shake. As long as you rinse them well, you will not taste any vinegar if that is something you are worried about. Part of why I love doing this is so all of our fruit gets prepped for the week and we can just reach in the fridge and grab something to snack on without having to take the time to wash it or cut it. Now we have nicely washed fruit. Super exciting, right? While our fruit dries, are you ready to see the water? It's a good one. We got a good batch going today. Do you see that? I know you guys saw how clear this water was when we started. That's gross, right? Who knows what is in there that we actually can't see? Obviously, a lot of it is the little hairs that come off, like the strawberries and raspberries. But, I mean, there's still, like, some dirt and brown water. <laughs> you can't tell me that that is not disgusting. Also, this might look like something you should throw away. But let me tell you, this is gold, pure gold for your produce. You need to keep these, all of them. Don't throw these away. Don't throw these away. Take them off carefully. They're usually attached with some glue. This is trash. Put these in your produce area of your fridge or I'll put one in the bottom of my containers. Why these are so important is fruits and veggies let off ethylene gas. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'll like write it here. These soak up the ethylene gas or however you call it that the fruits and veggies produce, which normally just gets kind of trapped in your fruit bin or in their container. And that's what speeds up the molding process and makes them just not last long. These actually help extend the life of your produce. These with doing the berry wash, putting them in the containers, all those things really will make your fruit last longer. I seriously guarantee this. Don't throw these away. These are magic. You can buy different types of these on Amazon and I know like Target and Walmart, pretty much everywhere sells them. Um, they have like, I know there's like an apple container that you stick like a filter in and then there's also just like filters just google or amazon wherever you shop like produce extenders and everything should pop up some containers um these types of things but i mean you can't be free so the grapes are definitely dry enough to go into their little container so i just put those in there and i am going to go ahead and cut these up and then put them and with the grapes. And now for our little raspberries who we'll get the cutest little berry container one. And there it is. Fruit prep, berry wash, whatever you want to call it. It makes it so easy. We got cut strawberries that you don't have to worry about, grapes, raspberries, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. I just dumped the water and this is everything. This is straight up, that's dirt, guys. That is dirt. That is what was on the bottom of this that did not rinse out with everything. And you can see, look at the size of this. There's just like crap stuck to it. But that, that is like some nasty stuff. Right? So gross, but also like so cool. But yeah, I don't think it'll pick it up. Oh, there it is. Do you see on that side? There's a bunch of like dirt and stuff. That's what you're eating when you do not fully wash your produce, guys. So gross. 